very powerful and uh, uh, running in only in JavaScript. So it means so mobile phones, so Safari or Google Chrome uh, can support our product. So open source product is uh, very good for our project because so our project is open to public and uh, welcome to students who are atomic survivor and so uh, so I said goodbye for Google <laughs> in three years ago. Spelling for we are not papers, we need a spell. Yeah, how, how it's spelled out. You can find it very easily by Google. So, C E S I U M U M. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to know, so I will teach about uh, how to implement uh, the application by using CD. Please call me. <laughs> uh, hello, this is again for you, Oda no Ikusensei. This is a fabulous set of projects, and I would like to use it for teaching. Can you share the names of the apps for iPhone for, for teaching? Uh, so our team released so uh, some web applications. So uh, uh, first is web apps. So it means so uh, our application can run on web browser. So uh, Hiroshima Archive and Nagasaki Archive. And uh, so I released many many archives. So I will share the MCC Japan Facebook page. Uh, and uh, second is so smartphone app. So for Android or iOS native application, so Hiroshima Archive and Nagasaki Archive, and especially Additionally, so I uploaded my source code to GitHub. Okay. So if you need, so I will share the URL of my repository. Thank you very much for the presentation. I have one more question. Uh, technical question for you. Uh, recently, the graduate students of Michigan are more interested in digital scholarship, and they are interested more like so learning software. So probably. Uh, the, I may have a question when they look at your fabulous project. They may have a question like, uh, where can I learn this? How can I learn the technique to make like other project? So how can I answer the question? Mm. Uh, so like uh, student, bachelor students and graduate school students in in my studio. So. Uh, they learned uh, by themselves, so uh, <laughs> I, I need to teach how to uh, programming. So uh, because so uh, uh, students can learn more earlier than me. Was yes. So so it means I taught only so concept or uh, fin final image of visual or so. Mm. Uh, so, for example, so Nagasaki Sensei and so on. So, so programming is not so difficult, I think. Mm, so, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, because so I was a student of architecture. 
uh, not the computer science or not the information science, but I learned the how to programming by myself. Is there something Ah uh, yes, so not so, not software, so language, so ja JavaScript. Yes, mm, JavaScript and so XML. Mm. XML is not a programming language, so only markup language. So not so not so hard to. I I hope yes. <laughs> or, or, so I I ask you to. Uh, and send your students to my studio. I request them to. Yes, so oh, only one week or two weeks, so I can teach you how to program to archives, yes, to your Maybe students. Summer, summer yes, uh -huh. yes. Welcome. Yes. Maybe they have to do a summer school somewhere in the States. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I want to visit, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, with, 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 with delicious food, uh, also. <laughs> Please, yes. Not so cold situation. <laughs> 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 um, the whole question is about the uh, Nagasaki Hiroshima archives. And my question is so there's no sense of like, who owns this. I mean, there's no creative commons or you know, who owns this data and then who can reproduce or can, no one can reproduce. And also the, um, well, that's the one question I have. Uh, what, let's start with this. You know, who, who is going to maintain it? Well, we talked about the last part of the discussion was sustainability, what we create, and who's gonna maintain it? How you plan to maintain it? Uh, it is a very important question, I think. So now, current situation, uh, I, I can talk. So without any licenses. Mm. So Hiroshima Nagasaki Archive Committee, so including me, uh, has a right uh, for uh, produce uh, content. Mm. And so original materials, uh, produced by Hiroshima uh, Atomic Bomb Museum or Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Museum. So we get a permission to uh, reproduce in website. But so in near future, so we must add uh, some copyright or creative commons license or and so on in near future. Because so I show my uh, GitHub repository Mm. So I should uh, make it to open source or open data. And so I will add, uh, I think, perhaps the Creative Commons license uh, to our materials. Related to that question, <laughs> you, know, you said you worked with the uh, Okinawa Times and uh, Okinawa Times and another Iwata Nippo. So they provided their data uh, to you, but did they agree that this will be eventually open source or that they're not going to claim their own data, right? Uh, I, so, for example, I and Okina Times so are uh, sharing the same concept. So, our mission is to uh, inherit uh, memories to the future. Mm. Uh, but so, newspaper company uh, sometimes very conservative. Uh, uh, but so, uh, it's my chance. So, they don't know the details of uh, creating commons and so on. So, <laughs> So, I can make uh, a good situation at the first, and uh, discussion uh, the Q&A later is good. <laughs> yes, oh, no problem, no problem, yes. Uh, but uh, because so our mission is the uh, same, mm, not so, <laughs> not so, what do you call it? Uh, not so protect our memory. Mm, it is nonsense. So 
-hmm. because uh, this is internet era, so we can share and uh, we can reproduce so any memories of the past, mm -hmm. past history. Very interesting because uh, when we negotiate, you know, uh, okay, uh, trans database to be sold overseas, I spent about three years to negotiate with them because they don't want to sell that their full text content. But you know, in order to you know work with us, uh, they're very open-minded. Yes. So I think perhaps so Hiroshima archive. Hiroshima Archive is a flagship content of our team, um, so they can understand about the concept of our work. So they agreed uh, our mission, um, and uh, they thought uh, we can make a collaboration. So I didn't offer uh, your training for Okina Times, so they offered to me. Did you encounter any privacy issues? In, uh, Posting stories of um, uh, survivors, uh, a privacy, uh, people who do not want their stories. Uh, um. uh, so, for example, so Okinawa Times and Iwate Nippo uh, get so permission by themselves, mm -hmm. but so Hiroshima Archive is a very special case. So. Uh, high school students bring uh, the paper to atomic bomb survivor, and uh, they sign. Um, so it is very important mission. And so in Hiroshima, so uh, high school students team for uh, collecting the survivor's testimony, so always use uh, their permission paper uh, for getting their Testimonies. I also have a question for uh, Watanabe Sensei. Uh, or or uh, two, two, two questions. Uh, one, one for, uh, so I, I realized that your project have a lot of oral history component and also ethnographic uh, work. And I was wondering if you had any collaboration or like help from ethnographers or uh, oral historians. Um, with 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 the project, and also suggestion to workshop organizers if if you could correct the list of softwares that were used for all of your projects, and then post it on the workshop lib guide, that would be helpful. Yes. Thank you very much. So uh, I'm so interested in the collaboration with Eastern Graph and so on. So please introduce me to them. <laughs> I will I will visit anywhere. Yes. And so software list I will make and uh, upload to Facebook page. I actually have one question for Harlequin. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned about. Um, having to go beyond the controlled vocabulary, so using some natural language. I was just wondering what kind of criteria you have that you establish among yourselves to create those and assign them in consultation with your researchers and faculty, or is it something that you're just doing now, and if you're already doing it? So, yeah, that's, um, that's where I, I have to stop. Okay. Um, that's where um, I, was afraid of g getting a comment back because um, <laughs> that it is very, it is it's, uh, subjective. Um, it's very subjective thing that um, uncontrolled vocabulary and uh, you know, it, that's why I said that you know, I'm pretty away from the boundary of restricted, but then it is both pro and cons for the, both of it, right? And then right now the local subject is my discretion. Uh, so the LGBTQ correction, I ask Catherine to put it. And um, again, I'm not scholar of the LGBTQ for that matter either. You know, then so I sometimes you know talk with uh, scholars, or um, you know, so and then I miss. I'm sure I'm missing it. And then there's no, so that 
the ones that I've talked about, the, uh, the text analysis, it's, that's more a little bit more uh, different way. It's like there's so much different uh, project, I mean, uh, software available to, to analyze the text in a, in a different, you know, vertical, and uh, those are different, and those are actually, it's more, I have to work with programmer to really, really talk about this, and because it's, a, you know, the words has different associations and uh, the different, uh, I'm sorry, topic modeling I was talking about. Um, so, I actually, that's just a future potential part, so that I'm, I don't have any good thing, things to say, but um, the Russian collection, the Slavic collection is doing it, so that I don't see we have issue. Oh. Oh. Thank you very much.